Awesome. All right. <laughs> Got three things for you. And okay. I made enough copies for your entire department. Okay. Because I'll show you the first one. This is the letter to the director, and it was sent to your officer, Alc. Okay. Because he was the first person I spoke to here at the counter. Mm -hmm. Okay. These two people are on the library board. That's a doctor, veterinarian, and she's an old woman who's the president. I spoke to her on the phone once. Okay. Okay. It says right here, if it finds you well, reads this letter for me. The library director has no legal authority to remove a patron's privileges. This is found in Montana statutes as MCA 22-1311. And um, basically, I, I talk about how she violates um, giving you guys false information with that letter, which continued today. Okay, can, can you can take a second can, and read that? Sure, absolutely. Go right ahead. And you remember how we had a conversation this afternoon where I asked them to, I asked the library to apologize to your department. Do you see that in yep. the letter? Yep, it's okay. right there. Second thing I want to show you is a sworn affidavit I made okay. after I got the letter that you, I think, had today. Um, it states that at no time, did I, and I had this notarized and signed, and this says here, and I gave a copy to Alc, um, Officer Alc, and the library. Um, I had someone bring this in, hand deliver. It says at no time did I ever cause a disturbance, nor was I ever asked to leave the library, which is on your letter, part of the requirements to finally remove their privileges. I was never asked to leave that library. There's a spelling error here, but associate, it's like, that's a different ARM you're aware of, I'm sure. Yeah. You can have those folders too if you'd like. I've taken my originals out. They cost you know, 10 cents a piece. Yeah, you can. Because I'd like every you officer know, and, to have these. And really, you know, if I just have this for our case file, I'll put it with my case file. Well, I don't need all these. But at least if you'd like to take all of them, I would. I would, and here's why. Because I gave this to Officer out five weeks ago, huh? and it didn't get communicated throughout the department, um, I'm, gonna leave, I'm just going to say that I'd like that everyone to have it. I don't know how your communications policy is. Here's the pertinent code right here. It states that only the board, and I'll let you read it, is allowed to remove privileges. So I'll just tell you I've made an appointment with. These are my. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can have the folder and everything. No, you can have the folder. It's really costing money. Okay. That's great. Great. Well, I think with the letter that was sent, it was CC to your department, and it stated specifically that my privileges were removed from the library director. As you can see from that one handout, it's only from the board. I never received any communication from the board. I actually initiated. I made a phone call. Uh, Ms. Jones, who's the president, mm -hmm. she didn't have time to talk to me, so we terminated the call. I sent her the letter instead. Um, so, in other words, I see this as two possible counts as false information to the police. One today with our contact, and the other one with that written correspondence that was sent to your department. Okay. Let, let me just tell you the information I got today from Ms. Langstaff. Okay. Um, she said that she has given the authority to affect all policies and rules by the board as the director of the library, meaning that she has the authority to trespass you from the library. I'd, I'd say to show her the law. She can okay. think whatever but, she wants to. No, I'm telling you that what, what she told me Day-to-day -day operations is the hear, director. Hear, hear me out. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I let you need to please hear me out. Yeah. I've done a lot of research on this. Okay. Okay. 
what I was told today by her, and obviously I haven't done the research, okay. 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 but what I was told by her was that she has been given the authority by the board to regulate the rules and policies of the library, which means, and you know, apparently they have the privilege to ban somebody from the library. The board does, and Correct. that's what you're saying. Correct. And she has that authority to carry out those rules and policies. Uh, I, I hear from what you're saying through the lines is that she's, she's authorized to do what she's doing and she's not. Okay, I want to make it very clear. Because she sent me this letter. She, sent, she set up an appointment to meet with me, sir. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the next day she sent me this letter that you had in your hand. Okay. That's I'm not just telling, I'm just telling and you that, that the board apparently has given her permission to do this because okay. that's what she's telling me. Okay. If you look at these couple sentences right here, it doesn't matter. I can, I can be granted the authority to make water into stones. I mean, but when it's in the law and you're sworn to uphold the law, and I've been harassed by this letter and by this contact today. Um, this is more than just, if it goes to a wash, I'll be okay with it. With her knowing she did something wrong. In an ideal, not even an ideal world. What do you, I, I'm sorry, if I might interrupt. Okay. What do you mean it goes to a wash? Meaning she doesn't get charged. Oh. Okay. Because she's done this intentionally twice, and she's done it on paper, maybe not knowing, and then went ahead after my letter and said, they've given me the authority. I'm sorry. The board has to do it, not her. It's very clear. There's nothing in this document that says anything about a library director. It says a board. OK, so what you're looking for is something from the board? Yes, sir. OK, well, we'll see hey, if we can wait, 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 wait a minute. What I heard you just say is we want to get a letter from the board to kick you out of the library. Is that uh, what you you're just saying? Got a, no, you no. just got a sworn affidavit that says I did nothing wrong. So if I did nothing wrong, and the director has no authority to kick someone out of the library, she's telling me she does. Working from the board, it's just like didn't didn't we just talk about people interrupting people? No, no. no what's going to happen? Here's what he's saying. He's saying that if we need a letter, she needs a letter from the board to state to send to you to keep you out of that library. Is that is that what you want to see? All I'm saying is that the law was broken here. It was done intentionally, and it was done maliciously. And peace officers swear an oath to this, not to what some board And, and we investigate and, and charge right. with criminal codes, right? not and civil violations. Because of the contact that I've had, okay, and I've asked for the apology to your department for their actions, you know, this is a situation where this isn't just a misunderstanding. This was done intentionally. And I've made an appointment with Mr. Bell, and I've given him those three documents. Let's stop right there. And then go see Mr. Bellman. No, I'm, we have to make an appointment. He's, well, he's gonna, we're he's going to see me. I know what's going to happen here. Uh, Nothing's going to happen, and then they're going to send me a letter banning me from the library, even though there's a sworn affidavit. I'll bet money on it. Okay, well, we'll see. But we have to wait to see. Don't I'd worry. like two charges, two counts. Two well, counts, false information. I, I, I came back after we get done, because mm -hmm. obviously I don't have all the laws memorized. I mean, I know what the laws are. Yeah. But I just wanted to clarify, so I read the uh, false report to the law enforcement authority. I gave you a copy of it. And I and, and what's great about you this, copy I gave 15 copies to this department on July 15th. Two officers okay. out. Well, I, 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 said, I pulled it up in state statute. Yeah. I pulled it up okay. in state statute, and, and it, it doesn't fit the crime. Because what you're telling me does not fit the crime. What we're going to okay. do. So let, let me just. I'm look, sorry, I've, I've, I've used this library, I've been in libraries all over. Okay, I brought, a, I brought a letter about your police department, about this area, to the president. That's why I got banned, okay? Well, I, I have no involvement in that. It's sitting all right I, here. Right she brought it here. All, that's, all, that's a totally different thing I didn't even bring up. Why did the library director bring a book here? I asked for it sent to my house because I couldn't come into the library. So I haven't ever gone into the library, even though I have the right to do so. And five weeks ago, I sent this letter asking for an apology. So we have a book here that belongs to you. Would you like that? I can probably get it. If you'd like. Well, I'm asking you. If I, I will well, make sure I, that... I don't want it until my rights are upheld. And right now, you're, you're basically dancing around this issue, telling me that no law has been, been committed. And you know what? It's not nice when, when you get a certified letter telling you that you did something you didn't do. And it's illegal. And they sent it to the police But department. somebody's and, listening to and, us where we never had anybody listen to us a, before. And a police officer Thank today you. interrupts me as I'm doing work. Okay? And, and messes up my entire afternoon. 
What was his and, name? And, and, and we're standing right in front of him. It, you know, it's one of these things where I don't like to be interrupted. I'm sure you don't either. Sure, but you have to understand, I was called down there for a call. Right. For trespassing. Based on that it's letter. not trespassing. Well, based on the letter, it is trespassing, okay? Based on the letter, it's a crime. Okay. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. You're not going to do right? anything either. So, so here, here's, here's the deal. I'm going to warn you right now. Warn don't, me? Don't. I'm going to warn you right now. Don't go back to the library. Until okay. you charge her with, with two counts of, of giving false information to the police. Here again, I'll let you finish now. And I'll I haven't been to the library, sir. Don't warn me. You don't have to warn me, okay? Please uphold the law. Okay. I'm going to warn you. I'm going to warn you. Don't go back to the library Thank you. or the grounds. It's library property where you will be charged with trespassing, okay? Why? Because you've been given a letter saying that you're not allowed on the premises. Let's leave. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. No problem.